Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Akelia, also known as Kiki. And today I am going to be doing a review on my edition, which is the Yin Yang edition. Yin to the Yang. Hey, get it? Yin Yang, black and white. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a review on these two fragrances. They're not new, but you know, these are fragrances that one is came out last year and the other one came out many years ago but it, people are sleeping on so I just want to give you my review and my perspective of what I feel about these two fragrances and yeah so I'm going to start off today with Dolce and Gabbana the only one intense they have the only one they also have the one which I was a mega fan when the one came out like what five five six years ago maybe seven years ago the one came out and I used to wear that a lot. I used to really love that fragrance. And I haven't bought a Dolce & Gabbana fragrance since then. And then I was watching some reviews and I heard some ladies talking about this one. So I was like, oh yeah, I used to love the one. And since fall is coming up, I heard this is a really good fall scent. And it's also a really sexy scent, mature scent, night scent, you know. So I got it, which I was like, you know. What's the big deal? I got it. I mean, granted, it's fall, perfect time to wear it. So I ordered it and yeah, and I want to give my review. I've been wearing it for like four days now. And let me tell you, this is great. Like, it's a good buy. I bought it off of Fragrance Net. And this is the actual 1.6. So it's 50 or 60 ml. I can't really tell, but it smells really good. So let's give you the steel on this one. Um, so yeah, it's the only one intense. Um, oh, it smells so good. I saved this hand for this one, <laughs> and then my other hand is going to be for the Mont Black. The next one I'm going to do around, but I mean, when I spray this, I was it kind of sprayed like what the bottle looks like. Like it's pretty, like simple, classy, pretty. Like look at that. Let me spray the cap. Look at that spritz. So, so yeah. Oh, so when you first spray it like it's mature but not like granny mature it's smooth like it's not alcoholic you know as you know the designer fragrances have that alcoholic scent to it it smells more, more to the niche line you know that's how it comes off i mean it doesn't taste um, like the one at all the to me the one smelled more sweeter and more you know every day all day it was a nice fragrance the one but this one smells more like sophisticated that's the word this one is more a sophisticated scent and like in the sillage is great like when i first got it i think i went to go run some errands and i probably gave like two sprays and it lasts i smelt it on me i went to the grocery store i went to the bank where else did i go i think i ran a few i went to tvs and i smelt it on me for just two little sprays like it was in my car like i got in my car by the time i got back in my car i still smelled it on me and even that night like four hours later i got a whiff of it like when i'm walking around my house i'm packing sorry guys so yeah a lot of my see my back there those pictures are gone i don't know if you noticed on my first couple videos yeah i'm packing i'm moving in like 10 days and so my house is a wreck so and that's another reason why i kind of like wanted to get another video out so yeah i wanted to do these two but anyways back to the point um yeah so i went to run some errands and it just had a trail so it's really good um i was also hearing that it's kind of similar to the what is it rouge machelette by the amarni Privé line i don't know how that smells i don't own any of them i do want one i want to try one but i haven't got that got any of them yet and that is on my wish list but yeah let's go over the notes on this one so the main accords is white floral vanilla woody coconut citrus sweet fresh and powdery but the notes um behind this the top notes is neroli green apple italian mandarin so it's a lot of it's, it seems to have like a lot of citrus to it but to me i don't get that citrusy scent but maybe that's where the freshness come in because it is like a fresh scent so maybe all those citrusies came to that and so the middle notes is jasmine coconut orange blossom and i feel like i smell the coconut 
after the dry down. And then the base notes is vanilla, cashmere wood, and cedar. And you do get the cedar and the cashmere wood. And, and more sweetness is to the vanilla. But it's really pretty. Like, I'm definitely going to wear this all fall. Winter, fall. Um, I'm going to kill this. So I could see myself finishing this bottle. Like, I just spray it. Psh, going outside, spray it. Because it's really nice. Granted, it's, we're still in summer. We just have, like, what, three weeks or less than three weeks of summer. But I'm going to rock it now. Like, I don't have no problem of wearing it now. So, yeah. I recommend this. Um, I, for a blind buy, I don't know. I think you should try it. Like, if you are familiar with the one and... And if, I'm damn just thinking like, I don't, if I would wear this, I think I'm going to wear this with, I think this would smell absolutely great with the Kiali Amber, the Invite 23, that would smell good. And then the Tom Ford Metalik, the Tom Ford Metalik, it'll smell good with this. Like I'm going to mix those two together too. You don't need to mix it, but I'm a layering girl. Like I like to layer my fragrances so I can at least get a lot of usage out of all of them and then create my own unique scent so i'm gonna mix those i'll probably spray all three together just to get like that boom effect like i want to boom in you know y'all want to be like mm, that girl smells so good who that smell coming from which one is that it's me i'm gonna be smelling bomb oh yeah by the way did y'all like my haircut like i took my braids out yeah i'm feeling this hair it's so easy i'm gonna keep a bomb for a while like it's just so easy to maintain but yeah so those were the notes and let me see anything else but it's very sophisticated i will class it in sophisticated fall winter date night you can wear it during a day um it's i was fresh it's not dry i like it it's really good for a designer bottle designers this is a really good perfume i recommend it granted it's been out it came out last year but I'm late to the bandwagon with this one and I'm glad I got it. I'm not disappointed. So yeah, here we go. The DNG, the only one intense. I recommend it. You should try it. Okay, so next one, number two. That was my yin. This is my yang. For example, like more nighttime. So I'm going to the yang. This is daytime. Oh my God. So. I don't know what rock I've been under, or I don't know what rock all of y'all been under. Whoever don't have this, and I want to thank you to all the people who have this already, all the reviews I've watched, who've been talking highly a lot about this one. And let me tell you, I say that a lot. Let me tell you, this is the Mont Black Signature. <sighs> this is like heaven sent, like heaven freaking sent. This is what I picture heaven smelling like. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, like I'm, I don't care. Like, look at that. I mean, it smells so good. This is the Mont Black Signature. 90 ml, 30 ounce. I got this also from Fragrant Net, which was a effing steal. And trust me, I'm going to buy another one. I bought my mother one for her birthday. She's in love. My cousin, she smelled me. She ran into order one. Um... I think you need to, everyone needs to get this. I mean, this is great, especially for the price. And okay, let's just get into this. Let's just get into this. Mont Black Signature. Okay, it smells milky. I get milky, light, airy, sweet, bubblegum, clean. Like, oh my God, like vanilla, citrusy. Like, it's just so much going on in one. Like, I just cannot figure out what's going on in this. Like, I heard some people say it smells clean, like detergent, but I don't give a F. Like, I want to smell clean. I want to smell like detergent and it's not like headachey. It's not too sweet. It's just, I'm not going to say beautiful. I'm tired of saying beautiful. It's just the shit. That's what it is. The shit with some sprinkles on it. The bomb.com. This perfume is amazing. And it was like, this is a 50 ml. I'm lying. This is a 90 ml and I paid 55 bucks for this. The most. Okay. $55 and it's gourmand scent because it's so great like I don't know I can't even explain I just want everybody to smell this but I think it's like a creamsicle with cotton candy with bubble gum with clean with everything and it has a little bit of 
uh, citrus in it like i don't know like i wish i can just figure everything out why like why this smells so good and then it lasts on the skin like it lasts like i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie like when i first got this i tried it on and i put a decent amount on not crazy but i was still in the house so i didn't really overkill but i sprayed it and then this was probably like around 12 noonish, 1 p.m i took a shower that night maybe around nine o'clock i took a shower yeah i'm home all day i bathe thoroughly but it's not like i'm scrubbing my regular um what is it the exfoliating washcloth i you know wash my body and i got out the shower mind you i think i even lotioned and then i went like this and this mother effer was still on me yes i was really thinking like did i wash myself properly because why is this on me and then i tried it again and it was still on me the next day the same thing happened it, it's still on me like i wasn't like scrubbing but i washed myself properly i wasn't like scrubbing like i was in some you know mud and some shit so it lasts long but look at the bottle like look at the bottle like you get milky you get coconut you get everything okay let me these notes for you and tell you what the notes are in this one Mont Blanc, Mont Blanc. But the main accords are vanilla, floral, musky, citrus, sweet, powdery, yellow floral, amber, and balsamic. Like, okay, now here we go. Top note is clementine. Top note is only clementine? How? Like, you would think the middle note is magnolia, ylang ylang, and peony. And the base notes are vanilla, white musk, and benzoin. I don't know. I don't know. It's amazing. And is it a blind buy? Hell to yes. Excuse my French. I'll take that out. Is it a blind buy? Heck to the yeah. Because, and for the price? Yeah. People be blind buying niche fragrances that are like over $200, $150. You get a 90 ml for $55 on fragrance net. I highly recommend you running out picking up your phone, going online, going on your iPad and buying this. Buy this. Please buy this. And if you don't like it, send it to me. I'll buy it from you. How about that? That's how confident I am. Like, I will buy it from you because, trust me, people will probably use this as a spring, summer, but I'm wearing this in the fall. I'm going to wear this in the winter. Daytime, of course, I'm going to wear this in the winter. I'm. This is, a, to me, this is an all-year-round fragrance and it's worth it. Like, it, it's more in the sweeter milky light it's just milky light and just clean it has like a uh, citrusy lemon like uh, it's just i don't know i just see of a creamsicle like a creamsicle i don't know i'm gonna look up some more reviews on this to see how they classify this but i love it like i would wear this on a day during a night um yeah like i think i'm loving this just as much as i love my creed virgin island waters boom oh i can't wait i might have to mix that and see how these two work together because yeah this is going to be on my perfume list of like of perfumes that i'm ever going to keep buying in the creed virgin island water is one and i'm adding this to this bad boy so yeah this is my review let me see if i have any more. a blind buy and for the price and for the size it's a blind buy so here we go here we go my ying to my yang yeah, as you can see, I wore this little black and white top just to go with this, to go with my video today. Um, if you like my top, it's okay, sorry. But not top from Shein. <sighs> they have it in other colors, but I think it was $12, if $12. No more than $15 for this top. And it's like that fake rayon or material. It's not cotton or anything. It has like a little, but it's dope. Um, it's cute. Again, I want you to like and subscribe if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time and subscribe to my channel. Uh, so this was my review on the Dolce & Gabbana, the one and only Intense, and the Mont Black Signature. This is my yin to my yang. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.